Hey guys, if this is the first time for you to use Adobe Express's self-record, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first we're going to create a video. So click on video. Don't worry about the template. This is just a blank video starter scene. And what we're going to do is go to media here on the left hand side and let's go under videos. Right here, you can see record yourself. That's right. You don't have to upload an existing asset from your device. Simply click on record yourself. Give it a moment. And as you can see, if you're using this for the first time, you're going to see a prompt to allow connection to your camera. Now, I want to click on this icon. By the way, I'm currently working inside Chrome. And the reason is not only you can allow Chrome to let Adobe Express use your camera of your choosing, as well as your microphone, but when you click on the arrow, you can click on manage further. This is where you can select the actual microphone you want Adobe Express to use. Same thing with a camera, which is the video source. I want to clarify that just in case you're like me with multiple cameras and microphones connected. Now that you're good, you can see yourself in this little video. You can set up the lighting if you choose to. When you're ready, just hit start recording. Remember, there is currently a five minute limit per recording for self record. Here's how I do it. I'm going to see you the result. Here it is. Hey, everybody, this is Faye from Face World Media. I am using Adobe Express video self record for the first time. I'm really excited because I'm going to show you why. After I'm done with the recording, all I have to do is hit stop recording and it takes a second to process and you're going to click on save recording or you're going to reset it. Now that very video is dropped into a timeline, which you can then use uh, to edit. So look at this. You can edit this video just like any video here. So you can add audio, click on audio right here on the left hand side. You can choose media. You can test out these sound effects. Some of these are new, but you can search for sort of the theme, acoustic background. I love that they start there because those are the type of uh, music that we use the most. Now, what if you want to shorten the video or trim the video from the beginning? Simply drag here or same thing at the end. What if you want to split a video? So what you want to do is click here and simply use the letter S. Not sure if you don't remember the shortcut, simply click here, right click on that. Look, split, that is S, the letter S here. Now, what if you want to add additional media? Simply click on the plus sign. If this is where you'll want to add a blank scene, just like that, add a blank scene. By default, there are five seconds for you to play with. You can drop new assets, by the way, that doesn't have to be a video that can be images as well. If you want to drop a media asset in between two clips, you're going to use the plus sign here, for example, click on add scene, or you can also add transitions. So to add a scene or add additional media, all you have to do is click on this plus sign. So you have two choices. You can simply upload assets from your device, or you can add a blank scene and then use either this layer right here or drop the asset directly into this blank template. So let me show you how that looks. So for example, the scene could be simply an image. By the way, it doesn't really have to be a video. Look at that. I can stretch it out, fill the scene entirely, move it around, resize it. Or this can be video two, as mentioned before. It really loads pretty quickly here. So here's a video of me showing the book, Chinese Empresses. Look at that. It's still loading, but it's generally pretty fast in terms of creating a preview for you to see what it looks like. All right. I hope you find this helpful. There's so much you can do to use Adobe Express to edit your videos. In fact, that is something that I'm very comfortable doing for regular videos as well as social videos. So let me know in the comments below how you plan or how you have been using Adobe Express for your video content.